Hey, I'm Nora from TastyPC.TV and this is the first of several videos that I'm going to be doing on upgrading my workstation PC. Now, I asked the peeps on Facebook if they were interested in this um, and the majority of them said yes, so it's just kind of here for any of you who are interested in it. Um, now, this system is kind of like a merger of three of my old rigs. Um, a home fitter PC, my workstation obviously where I do my video editing and rendering, and my file server. Um, now Project Tasty will still be my gaming rig, but I have got a few videos planned for that this month, but I'll talk about that in those videos. So in this rig, um, I do have an i7-3820, and I've recently overclocked it to 5GHz, so I'll put all of the specifics in the description below. Um, but in here at the moment, I do only have a HAEI with one quiet edition SB120 fan on it, and two intake fans in the front, and that's it, everything else is just covered with modulants. And because of that, while stress testing, it's just below 90 degrees, which is way hotter than I'd like. I'd like it to be around 70 degrees while stress testing, um, and also of course summer is coming. So I do I do massively want to water cool it, but obviously because it's my file server, my home fitter PC, and my workstation, where I want to keep like a copy of all my raw footage and all my finished videos, I want to keep as many of the six hard drives in there as possible, while well fitting the 60 or 80 millimeter thick rad in the front, which shouldn't really be possible, but I'm going to do kind of some experimenting to try and get it to work. So this is my first idea, and it is a little bit unusual. Um, I've unscrewed this back plastic bit from up here, because I think it looks better. And I've also moved the bottom hard drive cage from here to here, securing it in place with two screws. Now this top hard drive cage is actually from the Fractal Design Arc Mini, and I've put it in and turned it upside down, because I think it looks better. Although the paint is a slightly different finish, so it does look a little odd, and also it's not as straight as I'd like. But doing it like this allows me to keep the six hard drives that I want, while fitting a 60mm thick radiator in the front. Now this is a 240mm um, rad, although I'd probably use a 280 UT60 if I did this. So this is my second idea, and it involves having a hard drive cage in the middle here. Now this hard drive cage is actually from the Fractal Design XL R2, and it allows me to fit four hard drives, while being able to fit a monster rad in the front in push-pull. Now this isn't a monster rad, it's only a UT60, but the monster rad is currently in the 350D, um, and I can't really be bothered to get it over here to show you, you can kind of just visualise monster ad. Um, but anyway, doing this means that I go down from 12 terabytes to 8 terabytes, which is a big minus for me, especially as early I was actually looking into getting some 3 terabyte drives for this rig. Um, although doing this means that the two other hard drives can just go in Project Tasty, so this, you know, they'll still be used. Um, but yeah, I'm not really sure which one to do. I mean, I am worried either way about how hard, my, how hot my hard drives are going to get because they already run pretty hot, and obviously having warm air blowing straight into them won't be great. Um, but you know, I'd really love to know what you guys would do. Would you go for the first option? Would you go for this option? Um, what would you do in my situation? At the moment, I am thinking of keeping it like this, but I mean, either way, it's a trade-off. Do I go for kind of the you know, better looking one like this where I can better hide the cables behind the monster rad and it just looks kind of nicer. Or do I go for the one where um, I get more hard drives but, you know, go for a shorter rad? I'm not, I'm not really not sure. So yeah, I'd love to know what you guys think and then obviously I'll do a video again once I've kind of decided. And then the next video, I think I'm gonna either cover cables or the top rad. I do already have kind of a color scheme sorted. Um, in my mind, but that once again that will be another video. Um, but if you like this video and you want me to do more like this in the future, hit the like button. Obviously also don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of the future ones. And thanks for watching!